One last thing before we move on to our project is the drawing units. Now this is very important depending on whether you're working in uh, metric or imperial. Uh, they're going to need to be changed. Okay, so down here what we've got is that you can't have all these decimal points in here. It's utterly ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my menu browser up here and I'm going to go to drawing utilities and then I'm going to come up here to units. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. And you'll see now because I'm I'm in the UK, I'm going to work with my decimal my type as being decimal for my units. And my precision is going to be whole. Just get it to accept that. There we go. And my units are going to be millimeters. So I'm going to be working to whole millimeters from now on, which will be very useful. Uh, I could, however, work unitlessly, which I would not recommend. Uh, depending on <laughs> what you're working with, uh, we've got inches, feet, miles, millimeters, centimeters. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why we've got these in here, but we've got light years and parsecs as well. Uh, really? Okay, fair enough. Um, we've also got nanometers for those of you who are making microelectronic components. Um, right the way down to microns. For those of you who are working um, in sort of uh, imperial measurements, we've got feet and inches. Uh, we've also got, as I say, meters, kilometers and millimeters. So. That's probably where most of us are going to be working in millimetres, certainly in Europe. Uh, my precision, my angle type is going to be decimal degrees, unless of course I have a genuine reason for wanting it to be changed. Uh, and my precision is going to be to whole degrees until, unless of course again, I have a perfectly good reason for doing that. Now I can change everything here. You remember I've been saying about the arcs all working counterclockwise. You can force AutoCAD to go clockwise, but it's just one of those things I just I just wouldn't. Um, it's got it so ingrained in the program that everything should be work counterclockwise in terms of the angles that I just feel that there's going to be something somewhere. And, and this is a piece of software. It was only written by human beings. It's not completely infallible. Um, I would be nervous about doing that, so I would leave that off if I were you. But once we've got that set up, I'll click OK, and you'll notice that instantaneously down here, my drawing coordinates have changed to become whole numbers. So that's really going to help me when I'm trying to place things and when I'm working with objects and distances, that I'm not worried about, you know, sort of it's 79 point whatever it was. It's just, it's a whole millimetre, and that's all I need to worry about now.